Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up authorizations in Control-M to filter which folders and jobs a given Control-M user can see in the planning domain. Before we begin, let me log into Control-M and show you which two folders will be giving authorization to this new user and group. Now let's go to the planning domain, load folders and jobs, and we'll look at my Control-M server. I'll be giving the new user and the group access to HR group jobs and test group. As you can see, there are many other folders in this control M and the new user and the group won't be able to see them. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will start off by creating a new user and a group in control M configuration manager. Once we are inside the control M configuration manager, we will need to go to the security tab, click on authorizations, Inside the authorization window, we'll create a new user called test user. You'll need to provide a password and click OK to save. Then we can go into the groups tab and create a new group called test group. We will be providing the necessary authorization for the new user that we just created at the group level. So let's go into the folders tab and let's add a new folder. To begin with, we will provide the test group a full access to a folder called test group. Just want to point out that all the fields here are case sensitive. Click OK to save. Once we have the group ready, we can go back to the users. We can add this user to the group that we just created by going to the member of tab and adding test group. Click OK to save. Once you are done saving the authorizations, you will need to log off from Control and Workflow Automation Client and log back in as a new user. Looks like I'm getting an error that says you are not authorized to log into Workload Automation Manager. Let's go back to Control and Configuration Manager and give this test group necessary privileges to log into Control and Workload Automation Client by going into Privileges tab. Under Category Client Access, we will need to give full access to Control and Workload Automation in order to let this group log in. Once we save the setting, let's try logging into Control and Workload Automation Client again. Let's go to the Load Folder and Jobs. Here we can see Test Group folder that this user was given authorization to. Notice that this user is not able to open any other folders. Let's open the folder Test Group. Let's check this folder out first. I'll go ahead and modify the job name. Let's try to order this job. Looks like the job is ordered successfully. Now let's go back to the Control and Configuration Manager and authorizations to give this group browse access to a second folder that begin with the letters HR. We can use an asterisk for this purpose Remember, all fields here are case sensitive. Let's go ahead and save the settings. We will also need to log off and log back into the client. Let's go in the load folders and jobs in the planning domain. Here we are able to see the folder called HR group jobs. Let's open the HR groups job folder and we will go ahead and check it out. Notice the warning that we're getting that says you're not authorized to update the folder. Remember, we only gave the user a browse access to folders that begin with the letters HR. This user shouldn't be able to update the job definition. As you can see here, all the job fields are grayed out. Browse access also prevents the user from ordering a job in the folder. That concludes this video. Thank you for your time and I hope you find this video helpful.